YouTube Oz, it going, the Goat House is back, talking Super Bowl 59 contenders, the main point is talking about which teams could actually win, win Super Bowl 59, at this time every year, everybody wants to list 10, 12, 14 teams that can actually win in their opinion, to me that is incorrect, it is very, very lazy just to put all the good teams up there and look at every single season in NFL history. Has there ever been a season where like 10, like a list of teams could have actually won? No, it's been very, very limited, more limited than you think. So I'm going to challenge, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do my job, challenge myself, be a little bold. We are going to limit the teams in these tiers. We have more than just a tier that can win the Super Bowl. Um, the rest here, are, there, it's a variety of teams. Teams that I think, some of these teams I'll have making the playoffs maybe. They can even win some playoff games. Uh, I didn't have a, uh, they have a limit. This is more of a Super Bowl tier video. And then we do have a conference title game ceiling tier. But um, And some of those teams and the rest are below average. So, you know, those teams belong in there for this type of video. And then the teams at the bottom, we will pull from the teams tier and put them in one of the top three teams tier. So, starting with the Cowboys, I might be a little hesitant to put them here. And actually, a lot of people out there watching probably would put them here because they can't win a damn playoff game right now. And it's hard to trust them to do any anymore. But this is a very solid team. I think they're mad. And it's not my prediction for them to go to the NFC title game. And actually was my prediction at this time last year. But once Trevon Diggs got hurt, I was like, no, I'm not predicting him to get that far. Um, I don't think they would have got that far if they had him, to be honest. But um, I think this is their very, very max ceiling because they are a very good team. This is a talented team. I think they drafted very well. My issue is they overall kind of stayed the same. They might have got a little worse looking at the free agency uh, section of the offseason. Um I'm just not a believer. A lot of people out there are that if teams can't do something for so, like consistently, they're going to stay like that forever. That's actually not the case. So there's going to be a time when the Cowboys get over that hump or maybe they don't make the playoffs at all. We're used to making the playoffs, but they feel kind of the same to me. I think this is their very, very max ceiling, and there might be even closer to being below this. Like maybe the, maybe the divisional round is their max ceiling. So um, that's where I want to put them. Chiefs, we don't need to go into this one really at all. Uh, this team can win the Super Bowl again. Like Everyone should be in agreement on that. They lost Legereus Knee. They're still so well coached and developed corners on defense, but they actually get better on offense, in my opinion. Those weapons, remember that was an issue last year. Their weapons are even better on offense, it feels like. Uh, for the Eagles, who the Chiefs played in the Super Bowl two years ago, I actually want to put the Eagles here. I think their ceiling is making... Super Bowl 59. I, I'm not going to put them, and again, I'm being a little bold. I'm challenging myself. I want to kind of split these tiers up evenly as best I can. Um, I, I just don't see them winning, and there's a percentage on it, of course. I just don't see them going from where they were to winning the Super Bowl this year, and there's for multiple reasons. Going back to the Super Bowl against the Chiefs, they made the Super Bowl that year. Um, in my opinion, they were – that's my opinion, but they were they were never winning that Super Bowl as close as it was, and I mean, they had that hurt, fluky hurts play, but that's what happens in the moment, like that that stage, it's stuff like that just happens. Like to me, as close as they were, they were never beating Patrick Mahomes and Chiefs in, a, in, in the Chiefs in a shootout in a Super Bowl. They just it wasn't going to happen. That was my my mindset going into that Super Bowl, and it still is now. And that's what I'm talking about. Where teams or people want to put all these teams at the top. Uh, but really some have a ceiling of a lot of teams have a ceiling of making it and it's just another thing winning it but you know we don't want to base things off of two years ago they're that good where they can make the Super Bowl and they, they very realistically can make the Super Bowl uh, but at the, where they were at the end of last year which was pretty bad uh, I think they'll be better I mean maybe much better but will they go from that to winning the Super Bowl this year I'm just when I'm trying to challenge myself limit, limit the teams here in each tier I'm gonna say no uh, I think if I do this video at this time next year, I'm going to predict myself putting them up here. I think it's going to take another year here. Um, I think they're going to be much better. I, I would like to think they got better in terms of their coordinators, but they desperately, desperately missed their, both their offensive defensive coordinators, Steichen and Gannon last year. I think they're still going to miss them a little bit. Uh, and consistency is the big thing with the Eagles as well because – well, the Super Bowl year, the offense was pretty damn consistent. The defense either looked elite or they, you know, gave up a lot. But last year, the yeah, the offense was a little inconsistent with the passing game at times, uh, or there was times where they just went away from the run for some reason. And then defensively, they, you know, they have that pass rush. They can go off one week. They can make a big play getting after the quarterback. Uh, but then there's a week where it's like, 
a lot of it we saw at the end of last year is like that's one of the worst defenses in football. So again, I think they'll be much better, but it's hard for that. It's hard to for you know them to go from that to winning Super Bowl. I realistically could see them making the Super Bowl, you know, but we'll see. Uh, Jags. Uh, I'm going to put the Jags here. Maybe some people will put them lower just because the way they ended last year. But, yeah, they were missing Christian Kirk for a lot of that. Um, they, I mean, if you watch some of those games, they were so close to, like, breaking loose or making a big play. Like, a lot of just off-the-fingertip type plays in the end zone or downfield for them. So, uh, I mean, just like if some of those change, like, they could be a great team. We might be talking about them as a great team, you know. So, uh, middle of last season, they were really, really good. Like, one of the better AFC teams. They kind of can get back on track here. I just don't know if I see them going from that to being in the Super Bowl. I think with the other AFC teams that are, that, are, that there are, I think their max is, and I could see them going to the AFC title game, but I think that's their max um, you know, limit. But offense should be better, a little more consistent, we hope. They're a very inconsistent team, though, very inconsistent. Uh, defensively, they should definitely get better adding Ryan Nielsen. We don't talk about it enough. The defensive coaching was pretty bad down the stretch. Uh, and defensive coaching is extremely, extremely important, obviously. Um, so I think that's kind of the Jack ceiling, and I could see them getting there. I could see them being pretty sneaky. For the Green Bay Packers, I, I really think the Packers, I, I could see a realistic scenario where they win Super Bowl 59. So I'm going to put them in that top tier. I think they have the formula. And by the formula, what that means is, you know, they have they have a lot. You know, they have, they're a very, very balanced team. They can beat you with the pass. They can beat you with the run. Both in the same game, one or the other. They can wear you out, jam it down your throats, uh, air it downfield. Jordan Love, obviously, with you know those weapons, Christian Watson, you know those weapons, they can air it downfield. They can play small ball, go quick. We've seen them do all of the above and why they were so good down the stretch last year. And I don't like, I'm not a big base it off a of last year type guy, but you love the progression, the development, where they got. They were a scary good team down the stretch. And people are talking about the Lions almost got the Super Bowl, you know, because they dominated the Niners in the NFC, the first half of the NFC Championship game. But that game ended up being even. They got dominated in the second half. The Packers, to me, outplayed the Niners for three quarters of that game, and they lost. That's what happens at the end. What's what matters at the end of the day. But that team was that close, closer than you think, and they matched matched up pretty well. I thought against with the Lions and the Chiefs. So you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm not really about that, but it's a team that's going places to me. Jordan Love is getting better. It's realistic. We could have elite quarterback f- play from him if we're talking, I don't think, right away this year, and it may not happen at all. It's not really my prediction. I think he'll be great. But if he was playing an elite level in the playoffs, I, I don't think we would be surprised. Like, he just progressed even more. What he got f- where he was at the beginning of last year to the end. Josh Jacobs a stud, too, and the Packers are already good with with their run game. They're, again, the coaching's great, smart, good game plan from the floor always, especially in the big games. Offensive line's great. Running game's great. The passing game can be great. Um, defensively, they have studs all over that defense. They upgraded their coaching. We would think, I guess we got to see. Um, we're always left wanting more from that defense. I think we can get it. And I thought they played pretty well in the, in the playoffs, actually, the defense for the Packers. People will say, well, they kind of choked. They gave up big possessions, you know, against the Niners. You know, look where the Packers were in the regular season. Even at the end, playing against the teams like the, the Giants and the Panthers, they won the Panthers game, but where the defense was at, and they played much, much better in the playoffs, it's because they have big-time players that could show up. Jair Alexander, uh, Rashawn Gary, players, Kenny Clark, players like that, and they add Xavier McKinney. They have young players everywhere. This team has the formula. They are progressing to win the Super Bowl, so I am very comfortable putting them in that top tier, even though I'm trying to limit things here. Falcons, um, I think a lot of people will probably would put the Falcons in this tier. I realistically, realistically can see them making the NFC Championship game. I don't know if I see them getting over that hump because you got a quarterback that's off an Achilles injury. It's his first year with this team, so he kind of got a first year with the coaching staff, so you kind of have a chemistry thing to get over there as well. And I wish they were a little better in terms of their edge rush. Um, so those are the things that are kind of holding me back from any more. But I really could see them in the NFC Championship game. Like, I could, I could really see it. So, um Cousins is really good. Got to stay healthy, which wasn't a even a question before last year. Um, this might be it. something that people don't talk about. This might be Kirk Cousins' best offensive line ever. The Vikings was starting to get good, but he got injured. Um, so that's something. They have the run game. They have the weapons. They have the pass game now. Uh, defensively, they're well coached. They have pieces here and there, obviously, especially in the secondary with Bates, Bates and Terrell. 
Uh, Grady Jarrett up front. Wish the edge rush a little bit better. But it's a good team that can make the NFC Championship game. Uh, the Jets... Uh, some people may just not trust them to stay healthy. Some people may say, well, yeah, Rogers is only coming off the Achilles injury. How good will they be? Uh, if they are fully healthy on paper, on paper, they kind of look like this range, you know, but there's too many, you know, what, 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 what's the playoffs about it? The best teams winning game after game after game, Super Bowl win that being consistent playing your best football, playing against the best. Like a lot of things need to happen here. And if you mess up one quarter, we talked about the Packers versus the Niners last year. The Packers lost one quarter of that game. They lost the football game. You know, you mess up one quarter, you're you're probably done. You're probably done. So for the Jets, a lot of things need to happen. It's a good team that I think can make the AFC Championship game if healthy. But for them to make the Super Bowl, win the Super Bowl, Rodgers needs to be okay post-Achilles. Rodgers needs to be close to himself post Achilles at his age, which I think he'll play good if he's healthy. The offense line needs to stay healthy, which has been tough to do. Uh, offense needs to click with, you know, Rodgers essentially, it feels like a new quarterback for them still post, you know, post Achilles, whatever. All that needs to, so a lot kind of, again, I didn't offense, I'm, I'm being optimistic. I think it'll be, it'll still stay healthy. I think it'll be good. It looks great on paper, but the defense I'm not worried about, but uh, and the coaching needs to be there as well. Uh, on offense so a lot kind of needs to happen game after game in the playoffs to make the Super Bowl win the Super Bowl it's a very good team on paper if they stay healthy this is where I feel comfortable with them and again I'm challenging myself I'm trying to limit the teams I put in each tier I'm trying to divide them up pretty evenly the Bengals in yeah you kind of could put them in the same boat as the Jets like they have to like are they really going to stay healthy game after game in the playoffs and you could say no I'm going to, I'm going to say they could, I think it's realistic. You know, Joe Burrow's young, um, you know, this, and this is a team that if Joe, okay, Joe Burrow needs to stay healthy. He needs to stay healthy. But like if their offensive line, they have already dealt with struggling offensive lines. Like if, if they got an injury on the offensive line, but Joe Burrow and like Jamar Chase are healthy, um, like I think they could still make a Super Bowl, you know? So um, you know, let's say like T Higgins go, they need Jamar Chase probably, but if like T Higgins, great player, like T Higgins goes down, like I'm still gonna say, like I'm not gonna doubt them really. They would love, they need him. They would love to have him. But that's my point. Like they actually could be a little beat up, and as long as it's not Burrow or Chase, um, you know, they they can still make that run. So uh, they're just that talented. It's a team that I, I just feel wrong not putting them in. The, if I don't put them in that tier, because they are that good of a team. It's a, like I said with the Eagles versus the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, like. So close yet so far. Like they were so close to winning that Super Bowl, but I just never really saw them winning that. That was kind of my thoughts on the Bengals versus the Rams. Like so close, but too young, too inexperienced. Like the Rams, Stafford, they were going to find a way at the end there. I just didn't really didn't think the Bengals, even though how close they were, they were going to win. So that's kind of like what people don't talk about. Like there's really limited amount of teams that can actually win. But if the Bengals stay healthy, I can definitely see them winning the Super Bowl. They're just that talented. Just staying healthy is a big thing. The Browns. Browns have too many what ifs for me, kind of like the Jets. There's too many what ifs, but I can definitely see them. They're talented. They're balanced enough going to the AFC Championship game. I could see that. And again, there's some sort of percentage. I'm not saying 0% chance they can do more. All these teams, I'm not saying 0%. Um, but a lot of questions here. They Watson needs to stay healthy, one. Then Watson needs to play like the Texans, Deshaun Watson, or around that range, two. Is that going to happen? Uh Got, they got to stay healthy as a team. Nick Ch- Chubb's got to stay healthy. Offensive line's got to stay healthy. And they got to be – they're a pretty predictable team. They kind of get figured out in the big games. Like Stefanski, even Jim Schwartz last year, the defense is really, really good, but they ran so much man coverage. It was so damn predictable uh, for that for the for the Texans, the game plan. Um, so that, that's kind of the issue. Like, can this coaching staff get over the hump? Can the players stay healthy enough to get over the hump? Will Will Watson be at? On paper, if fully healthy, man, it's a balanced team. Like, they can run on you. They can pass on you. They have weapons. They can play defense. They have the offensive line. Almost forgot that. You know, so they almost feel like a Super Bowl winning team, like on paper. But there's a lot of what ifs or, like, can they can they be – can this – can this happen? All these things happen the, their way, game after game after game in the Super Bowl, like in the playoffs. And you doubt that a little bit, a little bit. Texans, uh, you might say uh, maybe too young to kind of get over that hump. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say they can. I'm gonna. I think they can win the Super Bowl this year. So we already have three AFC teams here, and I, I am. I'm trying to limit this this group here, and we are. I'm not gonna list a shit ton of teams like everyone else are do, is doing. 
Uh, but the Texans, I think they're another team that has that formula. Uh, they have great quarterback play. Could even be even better this year. Like, could C.J. Stroud be known as elite quarterback of this year? I could see it. Um, you know, they have that passing game. They have the weapons. They add Stephon Diggs, which is crazy to that group. Uh, incredible weapons. If the offense line's healthy, it's very solid. Um, and now look at the running game. They kind of relied on splash, like, runs last year. And they actually struggled a little bit in the red zone, like in the goal line, I felt like, in big games. They had Joe Mixon, big-time running back. He is damn good in that category. So I think they'll be a little more successful in the red zone. They'll get more field goals from last year. will turn into touchdowns. So that's pretty big. Uh, be a little easier for the play calling because that was a little sketchy at times in, in, in those, just specifically those scenarios. Uh, defensively, they got a good defense. They have, they're so well coached on defense. So well coached. Um, with D'Amico Ryan's one of the very best in the business. And the offense, what's the most important? Yeah, play coaching and play calling is very important, but quarterback play, passing game is the most important. Defensively, it's defensive coaching. And pass rush is right there, but defensive coaching uh, puts players in the right in the right you know positions to succeed. So I truly believe that. Uh, and the Texans, you know, added Daniel Hunter, big time player. They have young players developing. Look where Stingley got last year. So I like the Texans for this year. Uh, they, I could definitely see them winning the Super Bowl. For the 49ers, hey, some people might put them here because that's what they are right now. They cannot get over that. that clo- they're close, but they cannot get over, the, over that hump. It's just so good of a team where they, they can win the Super Bowl, but they got to be a little more consistent. I mean, even every game's got to be a nail-biter for them. Like, they almost didn't get by the Packers, and they almost didn't get by the Lions, and then they had an opportunity against the Chiefs, but they couldn't do it. But in, and they missed D'Amico Ryans, obviously, coaching that defense, but... There's just so much talent everywhere. The big thing for me is Brock Purdy. And I think Brock Purdy is really, really getting better. And and he can even take a bigger step up this year. And that could give the Niners something that they didn't really have when they when they maybe they were supposed to win when they had Jimmy Garoppolo, that when they lost to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Um I think they're a little more balanced throughout the roster for them, but you know, maybe they have you know if Brock Purdy takes another step up, they have another element here that is extremely important when it comes to football, the NFL. Uh, the Bills, and the Bills are another team that really can't get over that hump, but uh, they can win the Super Bowl. Josh Allen is that good of a player. Um, and they were close last year. They they were really close with the Chiefs, and they were extremely depleted on defense. They were beat up, and they were just like, one Stephon Diggs catch away from maybe winning that thing. And um, and they struggled with play calling earlier last year, so that kind of set them back a little bit. They barely made the playoffs. Well, it looked like they were barely going to make the playoffs because of it. But... You got Josh Allen and, and some other playmakers, and you have a shot, and, and they have that. Um, the running game is getting better. James Cook is getting better. Offensive line is developing a little bit more. Uh, you know They don't have Stephon Diggs anymore, but they have enough weapons to me. You wish they were a little better in the receiver column. Like You wish you could trust them a little bit more. Like Curtis Sam is going to be solid. Shakir is an up-and-comer. Like, Keon Coleman should play pretty well with Josh Allen, but you wish there was like that shirt thing guy. Uh, but remember, Dalton Kincaid, Dawson Knox, these guys are weapons as well. James Cook is a weapon in the passing game. Defensively, they were so beat up last year. I think they get better by default. You know, Matt Milano is their most important defensive player. He's coming back. Um, I think they drafted pretty well. I think Cole Bishop's going to be a stud. Uh, they have young guys in the defensive line that are getting better. So I think they have balance. Uh, people forget that they were beat up at the end of last year, especially on defense. I think they have balance throughout this roster. They have a elite player at the most important position in Josh in at quarterback position, Josh Allen. So um, I think I think they can win the Super Bowl. Ravens, I'm going to put in join the Eagles here. I think they can make it at the very max ceiling. That's kind of where I was at last year, all year. As they're, they're like I'm saying, they're clearly the best team in the regular season. I just don't see them winning the Super Bowl because I don't know if they really have the formula. Um, unfortunately, it's a team that I find myself rooting for at times. It's just because I think people, you know, always doubted Lamar, and it's a likable team. But it's and especially this year, you know, they, and I love adding Derrick Henry. That's another element that's going to be tough to stop. But they lost, you know, some players, but they lost a lot of co- important, important coaches. So will they take a hit from that? Do they have that formula to win the Super Bowl? You know, do they have like when it, when it, the game's on the line? Do they have an elite passing game to get over? You know, Mahomes or Josh Allen or Joe Burrow. I, I just don't think they quite have that. Uh, the offensive line was a little sauce, you know, at the end of it last year too. And the receivers, it's kind of Zay Flowers trying to carry the group. And they don't really have that consistent edge rusher that got home. So they're kind of missing those things that are very, very important. They have great coaching. Harbaugh is one of the best. You know, they, they did lose some key coaches. But um, it's just like a team that's going to – 
make it tough on you to play. Like they're tough, they're fast, they're tough to game plan for. They're gonna, they're going to be extremely tough in the regular season. It's just can they actually win a Super Bowl? I have my doubts. Unfortunately, uh, I think that's kind of their ceiling. The Dolphins, I actually instantly was going to put right here. But I'm actually going to put them, I'm going to put them, I'm on the fringe here, okay? I, I, it's, it's tough putting them in the same category as the Eagles Ravens, but I'm going to put them here, and I'll tell you why. Um, I don't think I don't think they win the Super Bowl, first off. I, I, are they going to be healthy enough? Are they going to be good enough? They, that's kind of been a big thing, like not having all their players, but a bigger thing has been, not being able to win the big games, whether it's a regular season or the playoffs, and not just they look like a totally different team. They're not showing up, you know, in those games. So that's tough. But they got talent everywhere. They have weapons on offense. I, I hesitate putting them up here because the offense line and, and because the injuries and because they haven't gotten over the hump. You know, they they haven't been able to produce in the big games before. But they have weapons everywhere on both sides of the ball. Number one, and look at Tua. And, and people doubt Tua again. I question a little bit too, like, can he produce in the big games? But look at him a few years ago. What were people calling him? Like, bust. Like, why? I can't believe they didn't take Herbert. Bust. He can't stay healthy. Even when he is, he stinks. That's what people were saying. And just a couple years later, another. all of a sudden, the last two years, look at him. Really, really solid. Really solid. Like, in the beginning of the year, he looks like an MVP caliber quarterback. Needs to be a little more consistent. My point is... What if he took he took a big step in a short amount of time? What if he took another step? Still a young quarterback. What if this year, you know, what if he went in the season? And, and I think it's realistic. We could say what ifs for everybody. There's a, always a what if, but I think it's like a there's it's somewhat realistic that Tua takes another step up. This team stays healthy, and they got weapons everywhere. They got firepower. So I'll put them in that tier. I, I just don't see them like just like that winning the Super Bowl this year. I don't know if they're ready for that. They you know losing Christian Wilkins, losing some key guys there. Um, but I'll put them here. I was originally going into this video, I was going to put put them in the conference title game ceiling. The Lions and the Rams are the toughest teams for this, and that's why I, I left them for the end. Uh, Lions and the Rams, and some people might disagree with them. Some people might think it's easy where you want to put them, but the Lions, for me, really, really good team. Really good roster. Going to be one of the better teams going into this regular season. You know, going into this season, they made it to the NFC Championship game last year. They had control of that game in the first half, and they, you know, they, but they dominated, but they got, after they got outplayed, they got dominated in the second half, you know, so that was a thing. Um, you know, with them, they, they played perfect Lions football. We've seen them play great Lions football all year. They played perfect Lions football in the first half in the NFC Championship game against the best NFC team, and they still lost the game. It's going to take so much. Even Campbell says it's going to take so much to even get back there. Um, you know, and, But they have such a good team, and they got much better at cornerback. They have young developing players, so that kind of makes me want to put them at the very top. Um my kind of going back to think about the playoffs is like, what is the playoffs about? It's about going, it's staying absolutely consistent, going game after game after game, not slipping up, staying healthy. They're, they're a fairly durable team. Um, but playing the best against the best, not slipping up. They slipped up in the second half of one game. And that, that was it. Um, you know, so that, I do think a lot needs to happen with the Lions at the same time of them being good enough to win the Super Bowl. Um, you know, are you look at them on paper? Are they good enough to win the Super Bowl? Absolutely, on paper they are good enough to win the Super Bowl. You know, that's really not what this is about, though. Um, Goff's played very well. He's impressed. I still, you know, there's been some moments where he may has to make a big time throw, and you know, does he always make? It? I see a lot of those like the sideline throws going. You know, you know. So will Goff can will can Goff win the Super Bowl? It's still a little bit of a question. Still a little bit of a question there. Um, you know, and. Dan Campbell, great coach, great leader, develop develops his players very well, but he makes some interesting decisions, obviously, and sometimes it helps the the the, the gambles that Dan Campbell makes. Like it's either gonna it's gonna it's so bold that it's either gonna win them the game or lose them the game. Like that decision right there, and they won a lot of them in the regular season, and they made some questionable, questionable decisions. Um, some worked out. They were yeah, I even still go like that was not the right decision. It worked out, they won the game, whatever. Uh, you know, and then, but in the NFC Championship game, some questionable decisions that cost them the game. So, can the Lions, like Goff, Campbell, this this young team, can they go game after game after game, win all those, win the Super Bowl without one of those things costing them? That's my that's my tough 
thing with the Lions. Like that's where I'm like, I don't know. Like this is a really I could may, I might predict them to go to the Super Bowl this year. I don't see myself predicting them to win the Super Bowl. You know, that's where I'm at with them. It's a little tricky, but on paper, of course, this feels like a Super Bowl team. Like so, that's where I'm at. And they got better at the cornerback position. They got better on defense. And then you look at the Rams. Um, for different reasons, but the Rams, like, I don't know if I see them going in the Super Bowl, like in terms of my prediction, but Matt Stafford, Sean McVay, Kyron Williams, they made the interior offense line better. They made the defense better, but they did lose Aaron Donald. Um, they have the weapons. Like, of course this team is a Super Bowl, is a Super Bowl team. And if they get there, of course that, that experienced team that won one could win, but will they get there? Will they be healthy enough? Stafford, Cooper Cup, Kyron Williams, they don't have Aaron Donald who made players around him better. I know they got better in the secondary on paper. They added players in the draft, but, man, some of those players that were playing pretty good alongside him, maybe they don't play as good now because Aaron Donald's not getting doubled and tripled. So, But if they made it there, can they make it there? Sure, they can make it there. Maybe it's not a high percentage chance. If they make it there, can they win the Super Bowl? Sure, they can win the Super Bowl. So uh, these teams are tricky. Like These teams are really, really tricky. Um, like the lions to me are a better team, than the Rams on paper and their chances of going further are probably better than the Rams. But if both teams are in the Super Bowl, obviously they both can't be in the Super Bowl at the same time. But if say the lions were playing the chiefs or whoever in the Super Bowl and the Rams are playing it, playing them, like who has a better chance? Like you, you might say the Rams just because of experience, things like that. But so that's where I'm at with those teams. They're really tough. Um, I'm not going to, that's the thing. Like, I almost want to put them here. Like, I'm I don't I'm not gonna predict either team to win the Super Bowl, to be honest. I can very well predict the Lions to make it. Um that actually could be my prediction. Uh been on the Packers train recently, but um that could be my prediction. So that they're that's why I saved those teams for the end. Like, they're really tough. I can debate with myself, like my, my thinking with the, um, I kind of doing a Dolphins thing here. Like the Dolphins, I was going to put in this tier, but I bumped up because what if Tua progresses? And my thinking with the Lions is like they have such young talent that they're rapidly progressing and they're drafting so well. What if they take another step up? Ben Johnson stayed for a reason. Like what if they had, like they really think they can do this? Again, their biggest weakness was corner. They dominated at that corner. So we maybe bump the Lions up, you know, because, because they, you know, they add dominant players there, like I was saying. And, uh, and again, maybe players develop a little bit more. My my thing is, though, again, will they win the wild card round? Maybe they don't have to. Maybe they don't play in it. Will, will like those gambles and will golf be extra consistent? Um, you know, in the wild card round, in the divisional round, and then in, like everything has to kind of go perfectly for them. And I thought things kind of bounced their way throughout last year as well, except for the end of the Cowboys game. But other than that, there was some crazy things that I thought kind of went went their way. Uh, so I think last year was kind of made for them to do it, and they and they kind of folded a little there, and, and you know, and when they played so perfectly in the first half, so I'm a little hesitant with the Lions, even though on paper they're better than some of these teams. Like in power rankings, I rank them ahead of some of those teams because they, like as a team going into this year, they're they're better. But um, it's a little tricky there. It's a little tricky, and it's weird having the Rams here because if they make the Super Bowl, of course they can win it. I'm just trying to really limit the teams I put up here, basically. You could tell where I'm on the fringe with teams, but basically I'm going to predict one of these teams up here to win the Super Bowl, and that's not going to change. I don't think anything could change unless there's some insane trade. I, it's not going to happen now at this point. I'm going to predict one of those teams at the top to win the Super Bowl, and it could be against a team that I have down here. That's the thing. Like a team could have, might down here might have a better chance to make the Super Bowl than a team up here, but I think if the team up here makes it, they have a better chance of winning it. Um, so... There you had it. That was an interesting video. Uh, everyone's would look a little bit different, but everybody and their grandmother are putting at, like, at least 10 teams up that can win the Super Bowl. Oh, they're good. They're going to win the Super Bowl. Like, it's not how it works. There's less teams than this can actually win the Super Bowl. It's usually like, it feels like it's like three teams could actually win the Super Bowl every year. There's never been an NFL season where we're going like, yeah, um, eight teams could have won the Super Bowl this year. Like, no, that's never happened. It's never happened. You know, so we'll see. And um, and could this change a little bit based on what we're seeing in year with uh, like one of these teams at the top maybe getting too injured where they we remove them from that and other teams just 
developed rapidly or just playing out of their minds at important spots. Like, sure, things could change a little bit, but this is where my head's at right now at this early stage. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I'm sure people will be uh, complaining a little bit, but that's just how it goes. Uh, check out our content. We had a lot of content covering the NFL draft, even post-draft, undrafted free agency, things like that. Um, check out our sponsors, Liquid IV, GLD Shop, Walk the Mock, Code GOAT for percentage off. But that is going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.